Key ISF Filing Rules for Restricted Imports Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss all things related to customs brokerage and international trade. In today's video, we're going to talk about a specific requirement for filing the Importer Security Filing ISF, for goods subject to import restrictions based on counterfeiting or piracy concerns. So, let's dive right in. When it comes to importing goods, some items are subject to restrictions due to concerns about counterfeiting or piracy. These restrictions are put in place to protect intellectual property rights and prevent the unauthorized distribution of copyrighted material. To comply with these requirements, importers need to include specific information in their ISF filing. The first step in meeting this requirement is to correctly identify the imported goods that fall under these restrictions. This includes items such as counterfeit products, pirated DVDs, unauthorized replicas of branded merchandise, and other similar items. It's crucial for importers to be aware of these restrictions before importing such goods. Once the restricted goods are identified, importers need to provide detailed information about the goods in their ISF filing. This includes the manufacturer or intellectual property rights holder's name, the country of production, and the specific details about the goods, such as the model, serial numbers, or any unique identifiers. This information helps customs authorities in their efforts to identify and seize counterfeit or pirated goods. In recent years, the cases of counterfeiting and piracy have been on the rise, making it even more crucial for importers to comply with these requirements. By ensuring the accurate and complete ISF filing of restricted goods, importers can help customs authorities in their fight against counterfeit products and protect legitimate businesses. It's important to note that failure to comply with these requirements can result in severe penalties, including fines, shipment delays, or even the confiscation of the restricted goods. Therefore, it is essential for importers to work closely with their customs broker to ensure accurate and timely filing of the ISF for these specific types of goods. In addition to including the necessary information in the ISF filing, it's also recommended for importers to keep proper documentation related to the restricted goods. This can include invoices, certificates of authenticity, licensing agreements, or any other proof that establishes the legitimacy of the goods being imported. By having documentation readily available, importers can quickly provide the required information to the customs authorities if requested. This helps expedite the customs clearance process and minimizes the risk of unnecessary delays or further scrutiny. To summarize, when importing goods subject to import restrictions based on counterfeiting or piracy concerns, it is essential for importers to 1. Identify the restricted goods accurately. 2. Provide detailed information about the goods in the ISF filing. 3. Keep proper documentation related to the restricted goods. By following these steps and working closely with a customs broker, importers can ensure compliance with the specific requirements for filing the ISF for such goods and contribute to the fight against counterfeiting and piracy. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you found this information valuable and informative. If you have any questions or would like us to cover any other topics related to customs brokerage and international trade, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below. Until next time, take care and keep exploring the fascinating world of international trade.